Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this Fire TV recast. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link to this in the description on Amazon. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost anything extra. So this is the 500 gigabyte model. And they also have a one terabyte model. And this has two TV tuners. So this allows you to record two things at once and the larger model allows you to record four things at once. So I'll put links below to both of these. So it says 500 gigabytes of storage, two tuners, high definition, 802.11 AC Wi-Fi. So it says it includes the Fire TV recast and a power adapter. You need an HD antenna, a Fire TV or an Echo Show, and required for setup, access to the Fire TV app on a Fire tablet or any iOS 10 or Android 4.4 and above mobile device. So it says you can watch live or later. So you can watch things live or record over the air stations. You can ask your ALEXA to record shows for you. A simple setup it says even watch on the go, watch recorded programs on the go with the Fire TV app on your compatible Fire tablet, iOS or Android device. So one nice thing about this is that if you have an antenna coming into one part of your house, you can connect it to this at that location and then it sends the TV over your network. So if you run a long antenna cable, you can have a degradation of your signal across that area and you can put an amplifier in and such, but putting this close to your antenna will give you a great signal. So I do wanna say I've done a number of videos on cord cutting and building your own DVR. I've got one on Channel Master, I have some Myth TV stuff, and I'll put a link below to my playlist and you can check out those other things if you're interested. I currently use Myth TV and I was using a Channel Master, but I unplugged that to hook up a Fire TV recently. So I've mostly been using the Myth TV, but this could replace the Myth TV, we'll see. So here's the device. Here's a little pamphlet and another pamphlet. Looks like this one tells how to set it up. Here's the power adapter. And the input on this is 100 to 240 volts, 1.5 amps. The output is 12 volts at 4.16 amps. So if it wasn't clear, this actually can go anywhere on your network as long as you have access to an antenna. And then this streams things to your Fire TV stick. So this doesn't actually connect up to a TV and it doesn't have to be anywhere near a TV. The one reason you might put this near a TV is because your antenna might be near the TV. And I have this upside down right now. This is a pretty soft rubbery finish here. We have a reset button. I, you put like a paper clip in there. On the back side, we have the antenna input, a connect button, USB. So I don't know if we can add more storage to this or not. We have ethernet and power. We have a vent on the back and a vent on the front. So I need to go plug this in next to my coax and network. So I'm going to hook the antenna in here. I'll plug that into my network switch and then we'll load up the Fire TV app and work on configuring this. Okay, so I'm on my iPad. I'll go to the app store and I'll search for Fire TV. I'll download Amazon Fire TV. I'll hit open. So it says the app would like to use Bluetooth. I'll say, okay. It's asking if I want to allow local permission. So I'll say, sure. It's asking if I want to turn on notifications. I'll turn them on now, but I may turn those off later. I'll hit allow. So I have connected up the Fire TV recast to my coax and network. So I'll say, add new device here. I'll sign in. So set up a new device, set up Fire TV Recast. So I'll select that. It says if you have Fire TV Streaming Media Player or Echo Show, please make sure they are turned on and using the same Amazon account. I'll hit next, I'll hit next. It's talking about parental controls here. I'll just hit next. It says before you begin, make sure you have everything you need, the Fire TV Recast, the antenna and the coax. I'll hit next. It says it needs to know your location to continue. It says enable location services, so I will do that. I'll just allow once here. I don't know if it needs that more often. So what is the range of your antenna? Say 50 miles. I have one on top of my house. I'll hit next. So it's talking about placing your antenna. I don't need this. I'll hit next. It says it connect to the recast. I've done that already. I've mounted the antenna. I've plugged in the power. It says wait for the recast to pulse white. Mine is pulsing white, so I'll choose that. It says connect your mobile device to the Fire TV recast. So I'll go into my settings. I'll go to Wi-Fi. I'll choose the Amazon 08V network. Back to the app, I'll hit next. So it's not allowing me to hit next here. I've confirmed I'm on that network, on the Amazon network, but for some reason it's not allowing me to go to next. Okay, I went through the process again and it seemed to work. For some reason it wasn't allowing me to hit next, but once I restarted, it restarted the app and I had to go through the whole procedure again. Now it's registering the Fire TV recast. Now it's scanning for channels. 
it's showing all the channels that were found. So you may have channels that you don't see on your television that you do see on this because this may be mounted closer to the antenna and then, and as such, it would have a stronger signal. So I'll hit next here. Introducing Fire so TV Recast. Now you can watch and record. Done. And it says I don't have any channels. Channel scan. Okay, so I'm recording this a few days later. I ran the channel scan a couple times and it wasn't coming up on here. So I took a break and when I came back, it was up. So it just took some time for it to work. And it has worked ever since then. So here you can see on now, and it has the things that are currently playing on my channels. And I can watch these. So I'll open up nightly news. This will load. It takes a minute to load. I'm not sure why that failed. I'll try a different program. It's allergic reaction. There we go. Rash, swelling, difficulty so now we're breathing streaming or it from the recap Stop taking to it and my seek iPad. medical help right away. Tell your doctor right away if you have red color in urine or pain. My Wi-Fi has been a little flaky today, and I don't urinate, really know or why. Or genital area infection. Well, I don't know if that's rare, related to it. But I could also go on these little three dots here, and I could save record. So if I wanted to record one of these programs, I can do that from here. And then I can go to recordings. And here's one I recorded, the Antiques Roadshow. I think I recorded this the day that I made the original video. And it's only like <laughs> This is a clip. silk embroidered morning picture. But we have that, that was there made in. And also on here we have remote, so we can control these devices. And then we have the settings. So now we'll return back to the original video and we'll take a look at using this on the Fire TV stick. And I'll go to the live and the guide. And here we see the TV channel showing up. So here's 5.1. I'll open it up. And we have soccer. I'll go back. So let's try CBS. We have golf. So it seems to be working. The Fire TV app isn't showing the channels. I'm not sure why, but this is set up. So that's the Fire TV recast. I may make some future videos on this, and if there's anything you want me to cover, drop a comment below and I can maybe make a video on it. I do have a playlist on my Amazon ALEXA and Fire TV devices, and I'll put a link in the description to that. But until then, that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.